The Crimea oil reservoir was hit by a drone after which a massive fire erupted. A Russian official posted at the site claimed. Mikhail Razvozaev, the Moscow installed governor of the Black Sea Peninsula port city of Sevastopol, posted videos and photos of the blaze on his Telegram channel. The fire was assigned the highest ranking in terms of how complicated it was to be extinguished. However, he did not say whether the drone he cited as causing the fire was Ukrainian. Razvozaev said that the oil reservoir fire did not cause any casualties and would not hinder fuel supplies in Sevastopol. The city has been subject to regular attack attempts by drones especially in the recent weeks. Razvozaev reported that the Russian military destroyed a Ukrainian sea drone that attempted to attack the harbor and another one blew up shattering windows in several apartment buildings but not inflicting any other damage. Ukrainian officials did not immediately comment on the oil reservoir fire. After previous attacks on Crimea, Kyiv has usually stopped short of openly claiming responsibility but has emphasized that the country has the right to strike any target in response to Russian aggression. The incident comes a day after Russia fired more than 20 cruise missiles and two drones at Ukraine, killing at least 23 people. Almost all of the victims died when two missiles slammed into an apartment building. Three children were among the dead. Mr. Zelensky said that the attacks showed further international action needed to be taken against Russia. Evil can be stopped by weapons. Our defenders are doing it, and it can be stopped by sanctions. Global sanctions must be enhanced, he said in a tweet. The attacks came as Ukrainian forces said that they are ready to launch a military offensive with new equipments, including tanks supplied by Western allies. Russia has struggled to make headway in a winter offensive, including a 10-month battle for control of the strategically important city of Bakhmut. The Russian Defense Ministry said on Friday that its military had targeted Ukrainian Army Reserve units with long-range strikes using high-precision weapons. Moscow has previously said it does not deliberately target civilians, but thousands have been injured and killed across Ukraine since Russia's invasion. Russia annexed Crimea from Ukraine in 2014, a move that most of the world considered illegal. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that his country is seeking to reclaim the peninsula during Russia's current full-scale invasion. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.